Tornado here. And Ray here in the Amala Network. And we're back. A Nocturne Tale. So anyways, we're progressing through the Amala Network, and Ray actually just went through most of the dungeon to get down here so we can finally light this darn candle. The final candle. Ha ha. There was a huge pedestal. Will you open the candle up of godliness? Sure, why not? I am opening the candle. Into an open flame, ha ha! You lit it, good job! All the candelabra have been lit. Behold, the shortcut door is now open. And there's somebody on the other side! Oh no! Oh god, no! So now we go through. Oh. And talk to the ghosty goo. Hey. Turn back right now, it's dangerous ahead. Not only is it dangerous, it's very dangerous. I mean, it's extremely dangerous. If you still insist on going, I won't try to stop you, but make sure you go straight. Don't ever turn left, okay? Please believe me. Alrighty, well, too bad, I'm gonna go right. <laughs> I'm going back to the shortcut entrance, because we had to super prepare. We also gotta get rid of Kushinata, because what she's doing, she's just being lazy bones. You know who I, you know who ironically won't be lazy bones? Huh. All the riders are going to make in a minute for some reason. <laughs> well, you just need to make one. Okay, but I want to make eight. <laughs> I know there's only four. I want dupes. Okay, now I'm messing around. I'm sorry. <laughs> Could you imagine there's just randomly eight riders in like one of these games? I'm the rider of the whistle. I am the rider of the dawn. Hey, who the fuck are you? Oh, I'm the horses rider. Well, how the fuck are you part of this team? I, I don't know. I think they thought it was a cool idea. <laughs> Where's the headless horseman? Well, he's the headless rider. It sounds cooler, doesn't it? No. I hate this so fucking much. God damn it. Ugh, oh, jeez. Hope this is over soon. The Maka isn't even worth it if I had to get Maka. Which I don't, thankfully. Huh. Ah, this reminds me. Yes. So, did they ever brought up, uh... Brought up? <laughs> Sorry. Have you ever brought up what? That, uh, maybe the reason that these things are called kappas is because it's some weird shorthand form for capillary. I didn't... No, I didn't... I don't remember that, but that would make sense when I re referenced this looks like it instead of a freaking body. Yep. I didn't like, remember... It's all just going back to that, isn't it? I didn't remember it being called Kappas. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention for that. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't refer to it as, like, the first Kappa, the second Kappa. I don't know. If you ask me, these places look similar enough to a bald turtle-like duck thing. <laughs> you see, because there's the demon called the Kappa. Ah! Wait, how come Kappas okay. aren't in any of these games? I just realized that. There are. I haven't seen any, though. Uh, a Kappa's not in this game, but Kappas have appeared in the series. I just find it weird out of all the 3D ones and stuff, I haven't seen it yet. Like, not even Raido. Not even Raido 2, but then again, I haven't played that. And I haven't seen all of the demons in the first game, either. I feel like there's a Kappa in Raido 2, but I'm honestly not too sure about that. Wait, I'm in the wrong menu. Uh, register? No need to register. What I need to do is make room. There's a good few demons I don't need use of right now, and I could get them back later, so... Part with... <coughs> well, Harahabaki can't help me there, right? Well, uh, no, 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 like, uh, he... he... Okay, like, I suggest, uh, just getting rid of, uh, Kopa and Ankot for now. Really? Not Kushinada, who's really here for no reason at the moment? Oh, really? Yeah, she's really not doing anything. Oh, okay, then, uh, I guess you like, like, I didn't want it to be, but Queen Mob kind of took her place as being exceedingly useful for the time being. She's a good fire user, but I never bring her out when I probably should. <laughs> so, I'll still get rid of these dudes, though. Oops. Because everybody has already been registered, but it's too bad they won't get experience from the battle. Okay. So, uh, they won't? Because they won't be here, will they? Oh, wait, but we only need, like, okay, never mind. We only need one rider. Yeah, and you only need... Yeah, you only, Oh, wait a second. Okay, you need uh, room for a rider, and you need room to get the demon that the dealer's gonna sell you down here. Oh, Which shit. I really like the demon that the seller down here, like, uh, gives you. And I was like, yeah, this sounds like a demon that back in my earlier years, I totally would have tried to make if I could. So anyways, in order to create a rider, you need to create a certain type of fusion under a certain type of moon phase. Oh, frick. Alrighty, so, who do I need? 
Since you're here, and since you're looking to get Red Rider, you want a fusion that results in a fairy. So, uh, luckily, it doesn't matter what those are, just as long as they create a fairy. Alrighty. So, like, uh, you have some leeway in trying to be able to get up some decent moves while you try to uh, create a fairy. So then, uh, let's see. Quick uh, question, is Red Rider a fire elemental, basically? I don't know. Oh. I haven't fused uh, any of the uh, riders or anything like that myself yet. This once again makes me wish that there was a freaking website listing like there is for Persona 5. God damn, that's so goddamn useful. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure there is. We right, just... but it's like, hey, start to type in a name. Here's everybody that matches those letters. Uh, you can see their weakness. Click okay. on name, all skills. So, uh, according to my notes, offhand, a Megami and a snake can create a fairy. Alrighty, I'll grab a Megami and see if one has dark might by luck. There you go. That'll work for me. Well, uh, no, no, no. Give them all a look over to see if they have any certain skills that, like, you might want to transfer over. Well, maybe Rahan's good, but why do I get the feeling a death guy wouldn't learn any healing moves? Like, I don't know, I just feel like they'd be a weird thing. <laughs> Agidine would be neat. And this is where we start to reach lesser good stuff. Yes, with... Mana Refill, that's pretty good, especially if you had Red Rider in your team. I guess so. And if uh, you were actually able to get Media Rahan on him. I guess so. But she doesn't have that, she just has Medea. You know, I just realized something we could... Something we could do off camera, but I'll have to mention that later. Fuck it, I'll mention it now. If we can figure out how to fuse this into a Magatama, and then do that later. <laughs> Mono Refill and Medi Rahan. We could probably do some bullshit like that. Mm. Freaking, we already did some bullshit earlier, so who cares? <laughs> Anywho, uh. And what is, uh, status, uh, Bright, Bright Might, Mute Gaze, Mono Refill, also Dia Ramaha. So, okay. Oh, Medi Rahan and Dark Might seems the better here. Because the, the Bone Man will already have his own freaking magic. Even so, he just want Dark Might so he can punch things good. Right. Alrighty. Because that's uh, probably one of the most important aspects about the thing that's going to appear. Is that, like, when I fought the thing that uh, you're going to come up against, I was actually scared I was going to lose. <laughs> and, like, I hadn't saved in a long time. Yeah. I'm going to grab your Lurnger. Why? Because it has all these good moves on it. Uh... That could be super helpful, like Ruku Kujuju. This guy's got Fog Breath, I guess. And then there's Mizuchi, but he's just a water snake. I see. He's just got Watchful, I guess, but... Uh... Well, if it came down to it, you could just probably get a Matama and stick Watchful onto Red Rider. Yeah, and we already did that, so <laughs> we just need to do that. So I'll just use these two. Now, what phase of the moon? Okay. Now, the phase of the moon that you need in order to fuse a rider, because I think this applies to all of them. I wouldn't doubt. There are the few times that I've seen them just show up for no reason, and then they're not. Is Neo. <laughs> up them on the way down, then. Ah, and that just reminds me in uh, Raido Kusunoha, too. Oh, damn. I... We're going to be here for a while. All right. Hey, what about two? I think Raido Kusunoha, too, brought back the moon phase system. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure about that. But I feel like that, like, um, during certain moon phases, when you went down a certain quest line, that the riders would just attack you out of nowhere. Hmm. Like, it was all part of a, a test or something like that, the test rider. I feel like I remember seeing you be in the middle of that one time long ago. Like, you were fighting Red Rider at the time in some weird abyssal livestream looking life plane of existence. Like, everything was green and there was, like, five things everywhere. That sounds about right. Oh, right. Uh, might want to, like, heal yourself. Why? You're hurt. I am? Yeah. Am I that hurt? I know it took a couple of hits in the stupid thing, but... You didn't see how your life is in the yellow? No! Jeez. I took that much damage from the stupid blobulars? Yep. I hate those things. I was tempted to go outside Asakusa to speed up the timer, but I'm already on the way to... Ah, fuck, it's gonna take forever at this point. <laughs> Unless, of well, course, the walk to the door... in a stoma, at the very least. I already did, but, but the walk there is already taking the whole moon phase at this rate, so... Stay here a little bit longer. Okay. But, uh... Anyways, what was I saying? Talking about the riders. Yeah, it's just, uh... The riders would, like, just pop up and cause me trouble uh, when I was Rido and stuff. Looking forward to playing that in a channel. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, it might be me and Suyo doing it just because I was like, you want to you want to Oh, play? fine, and I'll do my own Let's Play of <laughs> Rhino Kuzunoha. All right, but it has to have blackjack and hookers because you're so into it. <laughs> I need to stop going back to that joke as humorous as it is. 
<laughs> oh no, repel we're all. Time to go make a demon. Alright, here we go. He already learns bolt storm. Neat. Let's see. He knows electricity, force, expel, death, and... Well, god dang, does he know a lot of stuff. Jeez, what does Pale Rider do? All you need to do is, like, just give him anti-fire, and, like, uh, he would know everything the boss would throw at you. Well, I have a question, then, at this point, since we can easily do that. How do we get the Dionysus onto Makatama? Well, uh, Dionysus isn't the only one with anti-fire, is he? Well... He's the first one that we got it from, theoretically, and got it on Kakuri Hime. Oh, right, right. Well, anyway, well, let's see what we can give him, like, uh, first. Like, okay, he has Terror Blade and Wind Cutter, so yep. a strong physical and a strong wind. And you want to get Dark Might on him, that's for sure. But, he has uh, Glacial Blast right now. And, uh, let's see. What other stuff does he have available to him? Uh, let's uh, yeah, see. Yeah. These are all the skills. He can possibly learn Bolt Storm because he already has it. And uh, what's the first demon? Media Rahan for super yes. heals. So he may be able to learn Media Rahan. Possibly. It would take like a you know a few uh, tries to see. Oops. Damn it. Okay. He keeps wanting to learn Secunda for some reason. Not sure why. Well, what do you know? He can learn Media Ron, huh? And I'll stick with this. I don't really need to have with another magic skill. It's gonna take forever to get both. And I could refuse him if I wanted to, really. Ah, or would I guy we could simply change up his skills. Yeah. The Death Stone lost its brilliance. I am the fiend Red Rider. Time for another war, hey? <laughs> oh, yeah! Like, uh, you're going to war on the enemy that you're going up against. I wonder what he fuses to make. Lots of useless shit. Well, except for the, whatever the fuck this is. Oh, okay, it's a bird. <laughs> yeah, you can't even make that. Soon I can. Just give me... Oh, wait, the Reaper's not in here, damn. <laughs> so, I didn't know the Reaper had a weird bulging eye poking out of his little bag face, by the way. I, I did not know. I barely noticed it recently while fighting him in Persona 5. What? He's got like a weird bulging eye that's like, I noticed that he had a hole in his bag face head thing, but oh. I didn't know there's like a bulging eye. It's like, ugh. Okay, well, first of all, since we're here, let's check out uh, Red Rider. Okay, which one is he going to be under? I forgot what he said he was. I'm pretty sure he's a fiend. Oh, okay. That's very specific then. So I bet that'd be at the very bottom. Probably. Night, Wilder, Haunt, Fell, Avatar, Fiend. The only one I have. I think of this technically like the new demons added to this game? Yes. Fiend, Red Rider, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. He rides on a red horse and holds a great sword. He has the power to disrupt peace and drive men to fight each against each other. Not a hard thing to do, honestly. I don't know. I mean, does he really have that great of a sword? It's, I mean, it is a pretty great sword, but it's not a it's not a great sword. It's a pretty okay sword. I can't get a look, good look at all of it because of the camera. Huh. Pretty much a claymore. Yeah, the way it kind of bends reminds me of N64 model of the bigger on sword, kind of, because yeah. uh, it's more accurate looking in the new Zelda game thanks to the amiibos. Okay, and uh, Ryder himself is fairly simple, cloak. Uh, just, just death. Oh, can you see his arm? Uh, no. Yes, it kind of. It's weird looking. It looks like it's just a gray non-skeletal arm. Right, and no it's legs. rotating weird. Look at that. Hold on. Okay, when it. It just rotates in a full circle when the, the straddle goes up. <laughs> huh. That's pretty funny. The other arm is more steady. It looks like it's just a bland default gray arm and hand. No skeletal. No legs. Just basically cloak implied legs. Well, they might just not have legs at all, but I guess who knows. It really doesn't look like there are legs, though. <laughs> And the horse, uh, pretty good. I'm just kind of wondering, why does this horse have the cool anime comb over while Valkyries does not? I don't until, know. like, later game. Oh, oh, no, it does not. Okay, he doesn't have the anime comb. It has over. cool hair, but... Yeah. The horse has cool hair. Oh, well. But, uh... Right. But what was the thing we were gonna do for him? We were gonna... What were we gonna do? Oh, right, well, we're gonna stick anti-fire on him. Oh, yeah, we're going to attempt to. Right. Okay, so in order to do that, first you want to get someone that has anti-fire, and I believe that was a uh, Dionysus. Mm -hmm. The only one I know of so far that just has void fire on himself. Okay, so then uh, what type is he? 
Uh, he's a Fury. Okay, so he's from the Fury clan. Now, the way you would do this is that first you would summon him. Okay, then you would summon another Fury. Like, well, good thing I have another one. <laughs> okay, so summon him. Now then, you want to fuse them together. And you cannot do that. I wonder why. Okay, like the way uh, you want to try to get an elemental, but in order to do that, you have to fuse two of the same clan. Some clans, however, can just not be fused into each other. There is a way to get around this, however. Okay, so what you need to do is that you need to get out, get rid of... Beiji Wang. Yeah, uh, get rid of Beiji, and then you're gonna want to choose another demon. I'm gonna say it doesn't really matter what other demon you choose. Just choose another demon and try to fuse him with the uh, fury. So, uh, oh, actually, wait a second. Okay, cool. Like I have a list that tells me that uh, what can and cannot be fused with a fury. Just choose a demon, and I'll tell you if it can be done. Megami. Okay, so for the Megamis, they. Yeah. Hold on a they result in a deity. Choose something else. What about a deity? I'm not sure if a deity can fuse with a deity. Let me check my deity list. But it's... Wait, no, so do I need... No, cannot. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think they can. I mean, we're fusing into a fury because he has void fire, not a deity. Dionysus is a fairy, not a deity. You were saying fuse a deity into a deity. Yeah, I'm saying if you fuse him with a Megami, that would turn him into a deity. Oh, okay. You know, the idea is that oh, we're trying okay. to transform him into something that would allow us to like uh, easily fuse other stuff. How about a lady? I mean, at that point, I could just take a Kurahime, though. If we Which did I... that, it would become a vial. If I fuse and a lady well, with a lady. From what I remember offhand, like, uh, vials do not fuse into other vials all that easily. So let's see, if we go with Tishin with the uh, Fury, that would make a lady. <laughs> and I think ladies can fuse with other ladies. I thought you said two ladies fused into a vial. No. The one that they fuse into. Uh, an element. Okay. So that's all we gotta do. So, any lady that needs to be specific? Oh, uh, no. I just need to choose somebody. Okay. So then you just uh, fuse Dionysus. I need to check some. Actually, I can check that later. Let's see. Kushinata. Cannot fuse into Kakurihime for some reason, but can fuse into a vial. So a lady can't fuse into a lady? Yes, uh, they. What? What are you doing? Well, you told me to get the lady to fuse the Dionysus, and we're making vial, but well, you said vials no, don't fuse into vials. Yeah, no, let's just go from here. Okay, so, anyways, uh, fuse them with uh, the lady to create Pazuzu. But, no, he, no, has, no, no, no. he has void fire. Oh, okay, he does? Yeah, right there. Okay. That's why fine. I went into it. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. Too bad. Hmm. If you leveled him up a bit, he would also get Void Force. But then again, I think uh, he already has Void Force. Okay. So what you want to do is that you want to get a vial and just uh, fu yeah, just fuse it with another vial. Okie doke. Which you cannot do. Why? Well, you already have a vial, so I just took a quick glance when you went into that. So what do we do now? Fuse it with something else. Okay. Okay, well, actually, I got kind of an idea. Uh, what's the thing uh, you have? You have a vial right now, right? Yes. Uh, let's see if we can fuse it into a knight. Okay, so I want you to grab a fairy. This good? Yep. Okay, so then, uh, fuse... 
under this moon, it makes a black rider. Okay. So you can make a lot of riders. Look at that. Just all the way down. All of them. All of them. Change the moon phase. All right, I'm getting out of here. Right. This is also uh, some of the processes that one would do in order to like uh, get their perfect skill sets normally and stuff like that. So I guess we should show that off at least once, huh? Maybe. Oops, wrong menu. Loa Knight. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, create Loa. Just make sure it has. Uh... <sighs> Yeah. Is it just me or is the screen shaking a little when you do that? A little bit, don't know why. I've seen that do with that with N64 games on my TV. Did I already tell you my problem to where I can't actually play Pokemon Stadium because there's something weird about the video signal versus the TV itself? Hmm. It's, it's weird, like, I can see menus, but as soon as it comes to Pokemon Battle, that's a no-go. It just cannot render that for some reason. It can render the title screen for like half a second before it turns it back off. I don't know what's up with that. It's really weird. Let me guess, you can't learn anti-fire for some reason. Because you're a Skulltan. A Skulltan. Oh boy, this is just great times, isn't it? Besides Hellgaze, you can only learn all these crappy low-level moves from all of this. That's all he's grabbing. Uh, well, at this point, I would just uh, discard Titania and choose like a different fairy. There's got to be a better way. Do we really have to do this for Red Rider? Well, sure. I mean, we've already gone this far with it. <laughs> right, but this is super annoying and he already avoids a bunch of other shit. Well, the fire will help out. Right, what about you, Oberon, huh? What about you? He's got wooing. No, I went too far the other way. Let's try this weirdo. Okay. Well, there's void fire off the bat. Okay, right. Okay, get uh, do that. Fuse him. <sighs> Why does it start on no? Okay. Now for this one... Choose uh, another knight and fuse them together. If calculations are correct, it should result in an Earthus. Excuse me. Whoops. Alright, any specific knight, like a Loa, maybe. Uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, I'll just go ahead and grab him. Well, they do result in an Earthus. Now I just need to hope I can get Void Fire. Damn it. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's Void Fire and Dark Might. I was gonna say, hopefully Dark Might too, for funsies. But doesn't uh, Red Rider already have Dark Might? I don't... Yeah, actually, whoops. Oh well, this devil's the chance that he'll keep it. <laughs> I don't know why he'd lose it. Okay, now just fuse Earthus with any other elemental. And then we'll get a Magatama that I'll use only once. I know I'm not going to register because I forget what the other Magatamas have. I'm sure it'll fuck everything up. But they're near the top. Okay. I'm actually curious about the Magatamas. Let's see. He has the Watchful, which was the important and bright. And he has Dark and Analyze. No, who cares? You have nothing of importance, so if I, if I had to register somebody, it'd be him probably at this rate. <laughs> and he also. So Saki and Kusi, if I'll keep my mind to remember for those two. Wait, I didn't actually buy a elemental, fuck. <laughs> Oops. Actually, do you know what elementals combined with Earthus make which Matamas? Does it give a specific like that? Actually, yes. Okay, uh, you're trying to get a Kusi, right? Kusi or Saki, yeah, either one's good. They both have useful Flamous. skills. Thank you, that was very useful. Get that menu off, fuck! Okay. <laughs> Spin it up, oh shit! Okay, so Dark Might and not the other thing there. And Bright Might and not the other thing. And no. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? Well, I got Ribarama, that's different. I didn't even know, I didn't notice one of them had that. There it is again! Both Mites and Zeo, that's always fun. 
Hmm. Methinks this will take forever. Damn it, I keep fucking that up. Boy, am I gonna be glad when this is just phased out in future Megaton games. Oh, we all have to hope it is oh, phased there it out. Is. There we go. I have to hope it's phased out in 5, and I, it's more like Persona 5. I, I kind of want to believe that this is just carryover from how things were done in the past yeah. due to limitations. I am Kusi Matava. I'm old! I don't know, he looks like he's an old dude. Alright, so, why just register that yeah, Matama? That's, that's what I was saying, like, I don't want to register this Matama. Unless it's not one with any good skills, then yeah, let's fix him up to be better. Yes, over right. interesting that he has, like, anti-something, and he has four things he can learn. So does that mean if you leveled up that Matama, would he learn the four different anti-types for the elements? Hmm. And now we just have to go through this muck again. <laughs> Hey Red Rider, how come you're not uh, how come you're not immune to the fires of war? Shut up! <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm a skeleton. We can see that, it's very obvious. Let me guess he actually can't learn void fire for some fucking reason. <laughs> Yay, there it is. That didn't take too long. Okay. He also learned the Kaja, which I think is removed debuffs, maybe. I actually don't fucking remember. I forgot if I asked, but I'm pretty sure I already did. Can you get a fusion accident from doing this kind of fusion? Yes. Okay. Time for another war again, eh? Well, then, we didn't even get to stop one last time. <laughs> yeah, might as well just register. Uh, yeah, why the hell not? <laughs> Gonna make myself have some good demons, like a like a rider. Huh. And now I need to buy some Actually, other demons. now that I think about it... What's that? Uh, look at Red Rider. Okay. Okay, so... Dark Might, Healing, Void Fire. Learns three more skills. He... Um, doesn't he basically null everything except for one element and, uh... He doesn't know ice. Physical? And, yeah, he doesn't know ice or physical. But he's not weak to it. Yeah, so but... Other than that, be... like, he's pretty much protected against everything else. So, depending on how Pell Rider is, I might actually want to venture forth and go th do some BS for him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't think I avoid physical on anybody yet. <laughs> I don't, I don't even think that's really a skill. Is Probably it? not. Mm. I know Absorb Physical is basically not a skill in Persona 5 unless you bought Izanagi. <laughs> because Bikaru Izanagi has that as a skill he can learn. I was like, fuck, man. It's the only way to get that skill card, too. Otherwise, the skill doesn't exist. You know what skill does not exist in the game at all but has data for it? What? Uh, freaking... I think it's Null uh, uh, Psychic. Like, that's just not a thing in the game. Like, you can't get that. I was like, really? I didn't. I haven't seen it anywhere. Like, Wait, was it or was it Absorb Psychic? I don't know. I saw when I was looking through like the list of like, hey, what is this skill available? And it was like, it's in the database. It's just not in the game. And I was like, what? <laughs> How can you have something like that? Uh, okay, I do know that null everything is like everything has a null to it because I specifically uh, set out to do that when I was okay. making my demons. But not Absorb because you would have known. Because you would have known if you could do it or not. Yeah, I didn't specifically set up for... Oh, yeah, save. I was going to return a stock. Who do I return? Magog? Because he can't do the thing. Yeah. Because he's weak to fire. Sure. Like, you don't technically have to have those party members on you while you go through the dungeon, but sure, why not? Okay. It'll be Now fun. then, uh, you want to go and, like, uh, get a demon back. Yeah, I've just remembered that as you were starting to talk. Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who yes. did I get rid of? Oncot has been barely here, so he's... Negligible at this point for me. That's who was I also that I got rid of? Uh, you have Nakamata? Yeah. Gogmagog? Yes. Kopa? Yes. Naga? Not sure. Let me double check now. Bestest way to fuse. Okay. Naga. I got rid of Kopa. Let me get him back. I, I thought I had Kopa. My bad. Okay. What the fuck was he again? Uh, Yoma. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Yoma. Redemundo, leaving one spot for the viable demon. Right. That'll cost me all of my money. Uh, I think he's only 50000 It'd be interesting, though, wouldn't it be? The game's like, you want this best thing ever for all your money? It's like, well, what if you had only one gold? I'll take it! <laughs> like, and it's actually the best thing, but you have to give away all your money. <laughs> There's something like that, actually, in the game. <laughs> in this one? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, He's like, hey, do you want the coolest demon ever? <laughs> it's 
so you can probably figure from there what that's about. This is Dante. <laughs> he is a mercenary. <laughs> He's a very expensive demi fiend. <laughs> Alrighty, now I'm going to save at this door. Jeez, we got we did a lot of setting up for just this episode, didn't we? <laughs> Jesus. Well, because uh, you insisted on leaving through that door instead of just going back and doing all this off camera, then walking back this way. But, you know, it's fine. I feel like that we, like, uh... In fact, didn't you bring it up at some point that we haven't really used on camera all that much? Not too much. So, you know, I do want to give a bit of the game experience about what's kind of expected if you're going to be doing stuff. I mean, like, you know, we have some shortcuts of, like, an endless supply of money. Yeah. And, like, uh, you... You already put in the hours of research in order to, like, uh, get one demon with the skills you want. Yep. But, yeah. Boy, I'm just, like, imagining, what if they did, like, a, uh, a remake of this game and just kept a lot of it just intact? It'd be amazing for one damn for sure thing. And two, half of the work's already been done because of all the models that are in here that are in Persona 5. <laughs> what I have to question is, would they retexture them so they don't have painted on shading like you said they do? And I keep forgetting because I think it's lighting. <laughs> Because whenever they're summoned in Persona yeah, 5, show it to you. yeah, I'm just I was just saying like in um, uh, Crabble's thing, when they're summoned in Persona 5, there is definitely a different lighting going on that I've noticed that makes the painted shading actually look vastly different for some reason, and I don't know why. As opposed to when you see neutral lighting them in your menu, and I was wondering what is that? Is it actually a weird lighting thing going on, or do they have two different textures they made for the shading? God damn it! I can't hit the. It's always right after I throw a punch. Fuck! Why not double tap? Because he has a cooldown. And there's just enough time in between that I can't punch fast enough. And there's a specific cooldown after three punches that makes you not punch, so you can't keep punching forever. It's very stupid, and I hate it. Mm -hmm. Now I need to heal everybody! Right. Oh, you did save before, like, going down here, yeah? I thought I did. I was pretty okay. sure I did. Let me check the safe. Ah, that won't help anything at all, actually. There's no save points anywhere near here, is there? Okay. So then we need to get ready for the next area. Put Misaki in your team. I actually don't... Wait, why in my team? Well, you're about to go through some BS, that's why. Okay, so now that we're set up and ready to finally continue on, let's do that in the next episode. Yep. See you later, everyone. Bye. Okay, now we're starting to get into the ones that are mixed up a bit in the singles. So here's the first one. Beiji Wing. Fury, Beiji Wing. According to Chinese mythology, Beiji Xian Wang, our wise man of the North Star, determines the moment one is born. Interesting. And he's just a big crystal man. Hmm. Nice. Gonna pan the camera down all the way? All the way? Yes, and he's got a flat bottom. Good. <laughs> Good. They applied the same texture all over. See, that's... He's got a yin yang eyeball. Oh, that's interesting. On his, uh, whatever uh, that thing is, uh, the ruling stick. Like, I know those have a name, mainly because, uh, uh, Shiki. Shiki Eki. Yeah, Shiki Eki, like, has one of those. But, uh, I find it interesting that his has, like, the Big Dipper on it. That's the North Star. It, what? Well, I mean, that's, like, the thing with Fist on the North Star. That's the symbol he's all about that's got on him and everything. So I would have to assume that would be the North Star, quote-unquote. Oh, the North Star is part of the Big Dipper? I, I'm, well, I'm assuming this just being the overall call the name of that. Otherwise, like, why have the entire constellation? I mean, you know, Wise Man of the North Star, but he's got that same Big Dipper. And I'm just saying, like, why is this whole thing referred to a North Star, apparently? They should be calling it, like, of the, 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 the Big Dipper or the, whatever the constellation is called for Japan. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, I appreciate the uh, yin yang eye thing that he has going on there. Yep. And it's on uh, top of his little hat, too. Little so, oh, uh, that, Actually, that thing with uh, that symbol up there. All around it, too. With the uh, Heraiko? I think that's what that uh, symbol is called. Hmm. The, yeah, the thing that's on top of his hat. Yes. To figure out where his body begins and doesn't end, but then clearly you can see where the end of his arm model is. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't cover it good in this game. They covered it better in Persona 3 because you can't look at models. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see them, but then, like, you can't move them around mm -hmm. at all. Whatevs. 
Okay. Wait, one more detail I thought I just noticed. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like there's an eyeball on his hat. It's very hard to tell, though, because oh. this looks blurry shit Yeah, like, here. in the front? Yeah, I just... Yeah, like, I also noticed that, too. Okay, I did not until the last minute. Okay, that was it. Okay, so then, we're gonna want to take a look at the Lady uh, Kali next. I is it your turn? I thought it was you. <laughs> Lady Kali, according to Hindu mythology, she is a consort of Shiva. This again! <laughs> also known as the Black One. Why? She's clearly red. <laughs> What kind of weirdo? <laughs> she is the symbol of destruction. She is typically depicted as a fearsome figure wearing a chain of human heads. Yeah, I never quite realized her connection uh, to everything until Persona 5 spelled it out. That, oh, she's basically the incarnation of an aspect of uh, Parvati, uh, mm. particularly her wrath and vengeance or something. Like, I, I think see. that's what it said. Like, from what I think I can recall. To me, she always looks like an old woman. Yeah, I always uh, came that way to me. I'm pretty sure she speaks like an old woman too in these games uh, with like the, the sunny vernacular and stuff. I see her skulls don't wrap all the way around and her arms kind of clip through each other a little bit. <laughs> That's going to happen when they're all jointed in the exact same spot and her leg is clipping through her dress. What the hell? Like, yeah, right there. That red thing. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, these are low quality models forever. Zoom it out for days. This gets a powerful zoom out for no reason at all. No, seriously, why is that so much zoom out? It doesn't even have... Oh, well, I guess it technically has this good zoom in. Oh, well. Such an interesting detail they're able to shove in here. Kind of reminds me of limitations of the first-gen Pokemon game. Hmm? Where it's like, how do they get certain detail and certain sprites with such little room? Even more so in the uh, Gold and Silver games. But then again, that was thanks to Iwata. Next, uh, we have the Kishin. Uh, Kishin Jikoku. Okay. Kishin Jikoku, of Buddhist origin. He is one of the four heavenly kings and protects the east. He is also known oh, as... <laughs> okay. Dure... Hey, 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 I was I'm reading to... I want to browse it myself, like, how the fuck do you I'm fine, like, uh, let me finish. He is also known as Jitarashta. Okay, that works. That's a good one. And as we see, as I've made the jokes of, he is Ganondorf. Hey, wait a minute, this sword looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right, it was a repurposed Vajra sword. i kind of not too fond of the re-look re of these guys in Persona 5. I like how they look super, like, like tough-ass dudes in here. And then they just look like they're in constant shock of, like, What am I looking at? Ooh! They all got, like, weird facial hair. And here they got these weird-ass fucking hands that don't make any fucking sense, because they're just fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doing their, like, uh, pre-Jojo era Jojo poses. Well, he's got purple eyes and everything, and that's about it. Orange skin for days. I should stop saying that. Nobody says it anymore. It doesn't even sound funny. I don't even know why we people said it. <laughs> what did it even mean? I don't know. I had to assume it meant something like, oh, it's like forever. It will last for a very long time. Mm -hmm. You know, because days, time will be whatever. So actually, we like done looking at him. Okay, yeah, like uh, done there for now. Okay. Now on to the next three. 